The Lord is coming back again. He's coming with glory. He's coming with the, you know, the sound of the trumpet. He's coming with great authority and power. He is coming again. But he wants to meet a ready people. A people whose obedience is fulfilled. People having a readiness of heart to punish. All disobedience. Because God puts his glory and his authority on men. Covenant men. Men who walk with him. Men who tremble at his word. That is what he wants to do. It's the same parallel that we find even with Jesus, son of God and son of man. And he tells the devil, depart from me. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And even though the Bible says that he was led, as we must keep being led, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not, when he leads me, we must keep being led in the paths of righteousness. They are paths, brothers and sisters. They are paths. They are paths of righteousness. And the temptation is over. Guess what happened? After that, the Bible says the angels came and ministered to him. Our inheritance, our destiny, and our purpose, it is out of this world. Don't settle for less than is your calling. Don't settle for what God hasn't promised you. No matter how steep the hunger, let God purify that hunger so that you will wait to receive what God has got coming to you. This is not the time to spew forth Ishmael's out of unbelief and lust. This is not that kind of time. We must wait for the will of God to be done. We must wait and respond only to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Because in that is lasting satisfaction for the soul and for the spirit. Let your diet be made up of that which is coming from the plans and the purposes of God for your life you won't die hunger is not going to kill you don't get caught up in the futility of what's his name esau he was hungry and he was confident he was going to die that is a graduation in lust no you're not going to die it won't kill you have the right kind of hunger i love jacob i love me some jacob he wasn't the firstborn but he, he had spiritual insight. He wanted the birthright. And he got it. And even if it was by subterfuge, the word had gone ahead of him. And God blessed him. And God blessed him. He had the right kind of hunger. I'm trying to encourage a brother and a sister out there. Trying times you are in. Make sure. And you will be tried. I'll keep being tried. Make sure you have the right kind of hunger. The right kind of hunger. Man shall not live by the carnal impulse. Man shall not live by the flesh pots of Egypt. Man shall not live by that which comes easy. Only if it involves the, the, the selling of our souls. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. 